Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I have made my Snow White dress. Um, so first what I did was I took an old pillowcase and I cut it open on all the sides just so it was one large piece of fabric. Next I just traced around one of my t-shirts which was actually going to be a perfect shape for the bodice. Um, I made sure I traced all around the back and the sides and made sure I made them separate as you can see here. I then cut out the back piece and the two side pieces um, and once I was cutting them out I did realise that I didn't actually have enough material so I ended up using some pink material but it doesn't really matter because it's going to be on the inside anyway. I then just pinned both sides and the straps to the back piece. Once it was all pinned I tried it on a couple of times and made any adjustments, I then unpinned it all and traced the material onto the bodice material. On this picture here I only have one side piece but of course you're going to need two, I just didn't take the picture once I'd drawn both on. Then I've just put the bodice that I've made, it doesn't actually fit the, this mannequin very well but it fits me perfectly because I've tried it on and I've altered it to me. Um, so yeah it's just plain on the back but I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet, I think maybe I might cut the back and have it as a corset. Um, because the zip on the front is a bit awkward, I kind of because I've got this going on as well. I kind of don't want the zip on the front. Um, I kind of realised that after I'd already put it on there. So yeah, making it hard for myself again. Okay, so moving on to the sleeves of the costume. I'm not sure how I would describe the shape, but it's almost like an arch. And um, I will show you in a moment what it actually looks like. So as you can see this is the shape that I've ended up with, um, this was a kind of template that I got off Pinterest um, so I haven't measured it so we're kind of just going to have to wing it to see if it fits. Next I then cut out three of these rectangles from the red velvet material that I'm going to be using. Um, I made sure I measured 8cm between all three so they were all the same and then when I placed them on top of the blue material I made sure that there was a further 8cm between each. Once I was happy with that, I then cut out the blue material underneath the red ones and then placed them all back in order. I then numbered them 1 to 7 just so that I could see which ones I was sewing clearly and I wasn't sewing them onto the wrong one. Um, I am making sure that I'm sewing them on the inside out as well so then that way when it's the right way around it's nice and seamless. So as you can see now I've put it through the sewing machine, I did sew a hem on the top and bottom as well just to make sure that it was nice and tidy. Uh, next I'm going to be sewing on the blue material to the blue material over the top of the red. So I'm going to be doing this six times, three for the top and three for the bottom and I'm probably going to sew about one inch of gap. I've added the sleeves onto the bodice, um, it did take quite a while so I didn't record this step because it kept going wrong. Um, but I didn't leave, I didn't sew it inside out so you can see the seam line which is why I've also added the red material just to disguise it. I decided to add the yellow material that was on the front of the bodice also around the bottom of the sleeves just to make it look a little bit more expensive. Okay guys, so here is the dress. Um, there's a couple little bits that I haven't finished, I'm not taking the pins out. Um, but here's the shoulders. I think maybe at a later stage what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an extra layer inside here and fill it with some like puffy material just to make them a bit more like puffy. Um, so the hip wig I got off Amazon which was about £12, and um, here's the bodice, it does need a wash because there's still some chalk on there. Um, yeah, the skirt I have an underskirt underneath. So for the skirt I didn't record it because I did it wrong the first time, I didn't record it the second time, but I just used the half circle method, um, I'm sure you can find a video on it. And I also added some grommets to the back of the dress which again I'm sure you'll be able to find a video on. But I hope this video was helpful for you in some way and thank you so much for watching, uh, please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in part 2.